Hi everyone, uh, we're doing a video today on fiberglassing our blades for our homemade wind turbine and uh, let's just uh, get this set up for you. So there's one of our blades. Now that blade is upside down um, because I've done one side of the fiberglassing. But just to show, before I did any of the fiberglassing with the um, with the plain weaved fiberglass, uh, I just put a layer of chopped mat, 600 gram chopped mat fiberglass on top, and that's very easy to do. You basically um, put your resin onto your blade. Um, and then just stipple your fiberglass in up to the edge there. It's, it's pretty straightforward, um, the chop mat stuff. Uh, chop mat really designed for building up layers. C can become very strong. You can mould it and f when it's wet it becomes very flexible and you can, uh, you know, they use it for boat building um, internal structures on anything really but that's a 600 gram chop mat I'd say and I've used that for the inside of our blade um, with the outside of our blade this this blade has been finished and that's what it looks like finished just with the chop mat uh, sorry with the plain weave and then once it's gel coated I don't know if you can see um, if you can see the finished blade there um, with the with the gel coat. You'll see it all on the eventually finished all on the turbine when it's all back on back onto the hub. But for the time being, I'm just going to demonstrate how simple it is to use. Um, how simple it is to fiberglass a wind turbine blade. Okay, so basically just put it onto a, something where everything can just hang over it so there's nothing stopping around the edges. And we'll get our, we'll get our, some of our fiberglass. Hang on a sec. It's quite hard to be the cameraman and the demonstrator. So, <clears throat> this is uh, 169 gram plain weave fiberglass and just lie it on top of your wind turbine blade, almost like you're lying a shirt onto an ironing board. Um, and uh, make up your resin mix. Just use a general purpose polyurethane resin um, with a with a catalytic um, to dry. You've got about 20 minutes, 25 minutes before the polyester resin starts to go a little bit gummy. Then once it does that, forget it. Get rid of it. Um, better to make smaller batches than to make a huge big batch and have and waste it all. Um, don't put your resin onto the blade and then lower your cloth onto the resin because what will happen is it will just it will get stuck and you'll move the actual the weave of the cloth. And believe me, you'll be in a right mess. Um, so don't do that. Stipple your resin into your, onto the top of the blade. Do a line first so it holds it, and then work your way to each corner. This stuff doesn't really stretch once it's wet. It just holds its form, and um, it's very easy to work with. And then once you've gone right to the edge, let it dry um, and you can literally just get a, a Stanley knife, a Stanley blade 
and trim trim the excess off and um, then you can just flip it over and do the res flip it over and do the reverse process to this side of the wing and um, so with that will just hang over hang over there and once you finish so you can take it outside and you can either by hand or with a sander you can just really make it nice and smooth um, so that's the blades pretty straightforward and like I say that's what they look like just use a normal um, I'm just using a gel coat white gel coat finish and again you can smooth that down you can put more layers on until you get to a perfect finish it's also a good way of using the gel coat to balance out your blades so you can weigh each blade so if there's a slight difference in weight you can um, just put a little bit more gel coat on um, rather than messing around with weights after um, after your blades are finished the tail is going to be done differently the, basically with the tail what I'm going to do and smooth the camera around smooth it here a bit more the tail um, this is a smaller tail the, our tail is probably three times bigger than that and what we're going to do just use a flat surface I won't do it here but I'll put it onto a flat surface some mould releasing wax onto where your tail is going to go we're then going to put two layers of a white polyester, polyester gel coat onto here, onto where you've waxed your area let that dry for about 40 minutes till it's a bit tacky okay then put on your 600 gram chopped mat on top of your gel coat and then you put more resin into that and then place your tile onto to that and then let that put some weights on it and just let that dry you can leave it overnight or you can leave it for a couple of hours and what will happen is it will just it will just pop off and what you'll end up with is just a pure smooth um, finished tail um, on this side so that be completely smooth and white and then all you do then is mirror glaze fiberglass and repeat the process on this side and okay, leave a couple of hours and pop off then all you've got to do is trim around the edges and um, you might have a few odd holes here then everywhere but you can put some more um, gel coat around there and then sand back and then you'll have an extremely strong composite tile that won't ever rot or rust or bend and it isn't metal um, so um, that's the tile we're going to do a um, we're going to do a nose cone as well you see my batteries are flashing at me uh, we're going to do a nose cone which is going to go right across here quite a big nose cone um, we've got an unusual shaped hub um, which is, acts like a flywheel as well it's all part of the whole design we've finished our fiberglassing uh, casing so that's done so we'll finish off the blades the tail and the nose cone that's our next little thing to get finished and once that's done basically the the turbine is finished and this then we'll get stuck into the 
get stuck into the power side of things. So, anyway guys, drop us a comment if you feel like it, or if there's anything you want to know, or is there anything I need to know, and thanks again for watching. Bye.